The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an absolutely incredible breed known for their courageous nature, intelligence and love of companionship with their family. In today's video, I'll be sharing the key facts that you should know about the strong and affectionate breed, particularly if you're looking into getting one or you've just got your staffy puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlotte and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and then how to become high level canine leaders so that you can raise the perfect Staffy. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Staffy puppy, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffordshire Bull Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and find out the significant and key facts about the Staffy. Back in the 19th century in Britain, the Staffy was bred as a small and fast fighting dog, but those days are very much left in the past. Many people looking to get in a Staffy due to the common reputation of being a very tough breed. However, many are surprised when they find that the dog is actually a very sensitive and affectionate companion who loves to spend time playing with their family. Whilst we're on the subject of this dog's tough outward appearance, this is a good time to discuss the grooming requirements this breed needs. The Staffy is a small to medium sized dog with a short and easy care coat. The fur is smooth and short and lays close to the skin. You can get many different variations of coat colour with the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, including red, fawn, white, black, blue, brindle, and a mixture of any of these colours with white. Their coat sheds annually, but the hair loss throughout the year is very minimal. Plus, dirt most often brushes out of their coat easy, and their fur dries very quickly after being in water. In order to remove any loose hair, it's recommended that you brush your Staffy at least once a week, this will reduce how much you find around the house. Male Staffordshire Bull Terriers tend to be 36 to 41 centimetres in height and weigh between 13 to 17 kilograms. The female Staffies are usually between 33 to 38 centimetres at the shoulder and weigh around 11 to 15.4 kilograms. They're a pedigree breed as recognised by the Kennel Club in England as part of the Terrier Group. On average, Kennel Club registers Staffy costs around £965 and the non-Kennel Club registered dogs around £460. So it's important to be aware when looking for the best breeder to get your pup from. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so I can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below I'll see you on that course as I previously mentioned the Staffy is well known for its sensitivity and loving nature which does come as a surprise to some in particular this breed is very good with children due to its patient and gentle personality but with all the dogs you should always be there to supervise with your small children when they are playing with the puppy Although they are a great breed with people, the Staffy has been known by inherent instinct to be wary of other dogs that they do not know. This is most likely due to having been bred to fight other dogs, but they can be trained to be gentle with their human handlers. However, every dog is different in temperament, and the more you socialise your pup from an early age with other dogs and strangers, the more confident and less wary they'll be when they grow older. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a very popular breed, however this is due to a number of reasons that I have already touched on. Staffy lovers know this breed for its affectionate and loving nature. They're a breed that loves to be loved and wants to show the same affection to their humans. However, due to some people being after a tough looking dog and not socialising and training them properly, many Staffies sadly end up in animal shelters as the owners are just not able to handle them properly or they're just not the dog that they were after. The stereotype surrounding them as being an aggressive and tough dog stops the dog from being adopted but this could not be any further from the truth of their loving personalities and longing for companionship. It's so important to research a lot into a breed before bringing them into your home and to prevent any sort of unfairness on the dog or as you as the owner. 
The lifespan of the staphy is usually around 12 to 14 years, but they can be prone to certain health conditions throughout their lives. You should expect the breeder to have certificates regarding the dog's hips and elbows and from eye schemes as well when you are getting the new puppy. The Staffordshire Terrier is an extremely impressive breed, but do make sure that before getting a pup that you know all the key facts regarding the breed you're looking at to make sure you're able to care properly for them in the way that they need. They can be prone to hip and elbow dysplasia, bone disorders, cataracts, skin conditions and allergies. These are important to be aware of, especially if you do not feel that as an owner you can care for them appropriately and if they become sus uh, subject to any major health issues as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated staffy videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to see you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.